Right, I'm down by the Severn and the Avon. One's this side with a huge old mill further up. Um, I don't know if it'll cause just... Yeah, there's another river here and there's a lock coming up in a minute. There's some swans having a rest down there. There's like one river, there's two bridges. There's one bridge here and another one. And maybe this is the place where the two rivers meet. I'm not quite sure. And then there's that huge building there because that could be the old mill. And they've got all this land where battles took place all over the place here. Avon Navigation Trust. Welcome to Avon Lock. There's barges in that here. And there's like a double bridge. There's one there, like I said, there's one the other side. This must be the place where the two rivers meet. And further up you can actually see the... Up there you can actually see um, the abbey. It's more like a cathedral really, but it's only got one big tower, look. Otherwise maybe it would have been a cathedral. Maybe they had plans for it to be a cathedral. The only reason I'm doing this now is because the museum is shut. Due to illness, the museum is shut. So I can't go in there, so I thought I'd have a walk around by the river. There's a really old pub called the, um, the Bear Inn. Well, I've taken loads of photographs of it. Looks very, very old indeed. And here's a nice looking canal boat. There's loads of boats further. If you go on the bridge and look over, there's loads. There's a big marine lake up there filled with boats. It's, um, there's a lot here to see. It's, there's a lot more than you'd ever think if you didn't come here. It's not just a little village. It's, it's got, because of these rivers, it's got a big history. The Avon rises at Naseby in Northamptonshire and flows through Warwickshire, Worcestershire and Gloucestershire to join the Severn at Tewkesbury, a distance of 140 miles. Rivers have always been used by small vessels, but the Avon was one of the first natural rivers to be improved by the construction of weirs and locks to allow regular passage of barges transporting goods up and down the waterway. <sighs> Oh, so there's a lot there. There's a bit of a, a map showing the river, look. Avon, look, there's Tewkesbury there. And we follow it round. Follow it round, follow it round. There's Evesham. Um, all the way up to Stratford and Avon, which is where I'm going. Later today, I should be here. But I won't be, obviously I'm not on the river, but... Um, Yes, I'm, I'm going from here to here. That's why I've got to leave by three o'clock. So that's really good, isn't it? I'll have to come back again and do some photos. Ah. Oh, it's all very exciting. There's a lot to see. Here's the lock, look. We're closed for lunch, it says. Oh, no one coming through today, so we can clear, we can walk over quite easily. And there's the lock keeper's home there. Obviously, I, I can't keep backtracking at the moment to go and do photos. I'm doing a video at the moment. So I've just taken a load of photos of inside the town of all the Tudor buildings and everything. And that, I reckon that there must be, um, it must be a, a mill, I'd say that. That could be the mill.
right over and out for a minute. 